Omaha's news leader gets the facts tonight after Nebraska's governor creates what he calls the Women's Bill of Rights. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Shammers. I'm Julie Cornell. Governor Jim Pillen issued that executive order yesterday, but it's not a ban. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McClune breaks down the document and has reaction from transgender rights advocates. He joins us live. Alex. The ACLU of Nebraska says the governor's executive order does nothing to protect or expand women's rights. Critics fear it could also pave the way for what lawmakers discuss next year at the legislature. Another rift between the governor and Nebraska's LGBTQ community. The Omaha For Us Community Center organizing support services since it opened earlier this year now reacting to Jim Pillen's executive order. A piece of paper doesn't build community and we could be doing a lot more. The executive order defines a person's sex as male or female based on their biological sex at birth and orders public schools and state agencies to collect statistics on Nebraskans to comply with anti-discrimination laws or gather accurate data. A legal fellow at the ACLU of Nebraska says it does not defend or protect women. In fact, it reduces women to their reproductive capacities and enforces gender-based stereotypes. The ACLU says the order's language is vague and leaves it up to agencies' interpretations. Offices like the Department of Motor Vehicles and the Office of Vital Records formalize the data used in census data to allocate resources like federal funds. So a lot we will have to just wait and see how these agencies interpret it um, and how they go into effect because the order on its face has no enforcement ability. The ACLU of Nebraska says the order does not advocate for gender equality. This is just anti-trans um, legislation. The order says there are legitimate reasons to distinguish between the sexes with respect to athletics, but it stops short of mandating any bans. An Omaha senator wants to introduce the Sports in Spaces Act, which would prevent trans youth from playing school sports consistent with their gender identity. We need to protect women's sports and we need to protect the spaces that they are in. The ACLU says the order would advocate for equality if it addressed issues like pay, health care access, or parental leave, something the nonprofit Omaha For Us Center says would benefit everyone. We need safe LGBTQ plus spaces that are not bars, even though bars are an important part of our nightlife. Um, and we're just providing an, one other piece of what should be a well-rounded community. A Lincoln senator opposing the order and the Sports and Spaces Act says lawmakers should focus on property taxes and public education next session. The legislature reconvenes next year. Bill, back to you. Alex, thank you.